guys, welcome to my channel where I'm documenting my latest projects from home renovations with murals to fine arts and portraits. Come along with me on this great mural job I have lined up today. I really love this client because he's a kid at heart, designing this castle fortress equipped with climbing walls, monkey bars, small passages and more. He has five kids so there are three bunks and a queen bed going down below. I'm going to prime and paint and turn these wood walls into stone and put on the finishing touches. The carpenters did such a great job creating this space, I can't wait to get started. I ended up buying a small sprayer for this job. I didn't want to mess with the large sprayer because you need a lot of room and a lot of water to clean it up, and I don't like using it without a helper. I found this Wagner sprayer at Home Depot. I really like it because the heavy part sits on the ground. I attached a picture of it at the end of this video, and I'll link it in the description. For the paint, I went with a water-based Alkyd enamel because I was looking for durability in a room where the kids will literally be climbing on the walls. I spent more time on prepping and priming than I had planned out, so when it came to blocking in my stones, I went for a varied organic stacked rock style rather than a rectangular brick, which would have required measuring and leveling and straight edges. I was able to use the sprayer in a mid-tone color to get some of the shadows. I then came back in to define the rocks with a charcoal color using a brush. I came back in on every crevice and rock to add shadows, texture, and further define the rocks. I could have spent an entire week on the rocks alone, but there was more to be done. So in keeping to the schedule and a budget, I tried to create a simple system that let my background be the highlight and eliminate having to go back over every rock multiple times. I found that the best way to add shadow here was to thin down my charcoal colored paint into a wash so my dark lines would still show through. This really felt like an overwhelming task at times, but in finishing section by section, I was able to stay motivated. I was happy for the work and thankful it was an inside job. I've done plenty of jobs on the sides of buildings and in the burning sun of summer where your paint is almost dry on the brush before you get it to the wall. I've also worked in the Oklahoma wind where a gust might splatter your paint into the undesired locations. I even remember one job I did with the Bob Palmer's mural group and it was below freezing, but we were on a deadline, so we built a tent out of scaffolding and clear plastic against our mural wall. We ran a heater in there and got to work. Sometimes you just have to make it happen. I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. After the rocks, I'm just bringing in some animal characters. Each of the kids got to pick an animal for their bunk area, and I filled in the other areas with whatever I was thinking of at the moment. I used my favorite oil-based Sharpie paint markers to freehand the animals, then I just painted them in with my regular mural paints. I'm using a high-quality exterior satin latex. When you're doing a mural, it's great to have your detail colors in smaller quart size containers. I use plastic Tupperware with a screw on lid, so I can easily have my whole palette of colors in one large Rubbermaid tub. I used to drag around gallon sized buckets of every color. It's okay to bring gallons for your background colors, but simplify your detail painting process.
In case you're wondering, the three older kids requested a python, an ice dragon, and a dragonfly. So that's what I've got done here. I highly suggest trying out a few different paint markers. I finally decided this Sharpie paint marker was my favorite and I've been able to use it on many projects. It's really a time saver and gives you a nice crisp line where you need it. I'm going to throw in a red-tailed hawk here because I've been seeing them all over the place lately. Every castle needs a frog prince. I love painting plants and I find one of the easiest methods is to go in with your darkest green and do the shapes of your leaves and then just come back in with a mid-tone or even a highlight when you really want it to pop. Okay, just a few more rocks on the rock climbing wall and we're almost done. When you're thinking about how long you'll spend on a mural, don't forget to allow some time at the end for cleanup and taking pictures or even videos to show your next possible client. And for cleanup, make sure you do an excellent job if you want to be called back in the future. I always try to bring a just in case bucket and towels. If I had a big spill, I would want several large towels and at least a five gallon bucket. Make sure you always have a water source so you know you can handle anything that happens. I'm really proud to be a small part of creating this magical space for some very precious children. Every child deserves a parent's best efforts to provide a space of safety and comfort and even imagination and adventure. I really love how this all came together and I can't wait for the kids to see their new beds. I think a lot of memories will be made here and I'm pretty sure there's going to be jumping from the bunk to the queen bed below. Towards the end, the client wanted to add some detail on the ceilings of the bunks. We decided on constellations in glow paint. I think it turned out great. Thanks for checking out my project today. If you're interested in a custom mural, I work mainly in the Oklahoma City area and surrounding. You can reach me at this email in the description or leave your contact information in the comment section. 
If you enjoyed this video or got any great information, please give me a like or subscribe or a comment. I really appreciate feedback and I would love to hear your questions and suggestions and even find out what projects you're working on. I hope this video has inspired you to do something creative, to make a space for your family or to even branch out and put your talent to use for someone else. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.